good afternoon or evening or whatever time it is for you guys. It is, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, it is 3, 324 right now. So, yeah. So, as you can see, I still have my, um, a closer, a little closer more. My Christmas tree and all my other uh, Christmas stuff up, like the the wreath and this guy behind me, and then of course this guy up there. Those, yeah, I still have my stuff up. So yeah, I'm not gonna probably take it down until maybe after New Year's or whatever. But however, it'll be we vlog for that. At first, I wasn't sure if I was gonna report. But then I kind of miss you guys, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to record. But yeah, I went um, shopping yesterday. I didn't do a whole lot of shopping because some of the sales wasn't like a uh, good price or anything. So yeah, and I just got, my hairline's gone look wet because I just got done scrubbing the good noxema off my face because I forgot to do that last night and I want my face to feel, you know, refreshed and everything. Plus, I'm about to get in the shower. But yeah, and um, I got this car, item car, right from Janiga, right? And they didn't even give me my um, they gave me the item car, but they didn't even activate it, right? So I had to go. I called Apple, and they said Apple tried, and they said, well, that means that they never even activated right, or blah blah blah. So just ask them if you could take it back. And I called them last night after I got a phone off of Apple, because that's not Apple's fault, you know what I mean? Because it was sold in store it might be their car but it's not you know what i mean it has nothing to do with them so i called them the same store and told them that it wasn't um it said that it was deactivated and it wasn't working blah 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 and they said well we'll just get you another one because they were saying well we'll just um replace it for you and get you another one i was like okay because i did spend cash 15 because i'm like shoot i still want the 15 dollar itunes card because I'm trying to play my games on there, that I, the games that I want to play off of my iPad or whatever. So, yeah. But that's taken care of. I actually have the receipt and everything in my um, wallet right here. So, yeah. But anyways, um, my name is Siobhan Edison. And welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. But, yeah. Then I'm like, oh my god, I must have been so tired from the mall yesterday. I, I went to Ross Park Mall yesterday. I must have been so tired because we got up early and stuff. And like I said, I didn't vlog because people was in the mall like roaches. So I didn't even record. I was like, I'm not recording now. It's too much. And then with the mask on my face and me carrying my purse. So, but however, I did go in this like coach store. And I'm going to show you guys that in a little bit. The coach store. And the coach store has a new um, in online too. Has um coach store online too. But in the store and online of Coach Brand, whatever, has their new um, Disney um, purse out again. But this time they have a Mickey Mouse one. And it is so cute. So I'm, I actually have the picture on my phone. I'm going to show you guys that. Those of you who follow my Snapchat will see that anyways. But I'm going to show you guys who are not on any of my social medias too. So yeah. I also want to show you guys this bag real quick. So, as a matter of fact, let me show you guys these earrings. But yeah, guys, I had to have a break, and I'm not going to record again for you guys. My next video won't be for you guys until Thursday, which is New Year's Eve. And we can watch the ball drop together, so make sure you guys grab your popcorn, your wine, your coolers, your beer, and we're going to have fun. So, you guys are going to do the countdown with me. And like I said, last year, you guys already knew this. But those of you who've been watching my channel, those of you who haven't, have not probably never even seen it. But, and this is still be down there somewhere on my channel somewhere. But anyways, I don't feel like look, looking for it, for that video. But yeah, but those of you who has been here since I started, the OGs, the originals, yeah. Well, y'all already know, last year I went out to... Um, club spirit and yeah by myself but it was fun because like i said i made friends there and that was nasty what's that heck that was anyways um and it was fun so but 
by this year, I mean, people are still going out for, uh, and that was, um, when the year first dropped to, what is it, 2020? Because it was no longer, yeah, it was no longer 2019, so it was like 2020. But I know people will be going out, like, this year, too, and it's going to be packed, mad pack and everything. But I'm not worrying about buying tickets for nothing because I don't want to go, if they are open, I don't want to go to no event. With this pandemic, none of the clubs and bars should not even be open anyways. But if they are, I'm not going anyways because, like I said, I don't want to be in that crowd. And then, now, ever since with this pandemic, I get claustrophobic with a lot of people. And I'm, I'm a people person, so usually I don't have that problem. But it was just people everywhere. And y'all know, my little ass is 5'2", so if you don't look at me hard enough, you'll probably step on me. <laughs> they, like, they forget that I'm there. So, well, some guys don't. I mean, I guess some guys see my ass and they just stare in silence and they see me. But some people don't see me. And I'm like, you're going to run and knock me down. I'm only 5'2". Like, what the hell are you doing? I'm the whole person. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I got um, these earrings from Paris and Pagoda. I have within 30 days. So, yeah, this is the box what that looks like. And, yeah. This is for my second haul. It's a little chrome. We might even go more towards the light. I know I look a hot mess right now, but that's because I'm about to get in a shower, guys. Because like I said, I'm getting ready to go in the store. My mom gets off. So, yeah. But yeah, that's what that look like. Isn't that? I'm trying to hold the camera steady with the ring light that's right here. So, yeah. See, that's what that look like. Isn't that pretty? But, yeah. It's um 10 karat gold. Yeah that was the first thing i bought um claire's hat like new year's eve i usually don't buy stuff out of claire's this is not come from claire's but i'm just saying um i usually don't buy stuff from claire's but i was looking at this new year's eve mask they had two different adult new year's eve masks for like what 9.99 each and the deal was like 12 dollars. but i was like when i seen that how small their claire's was i was like i don't want to wait and i certainly don't want to wait in line and I, I got sick of being in line. The only place that didn't have a line was the bubble tea place when I first got to the Wars Park Mall. This upstairs. Their bubble tea is really, really good. So, and they didn't have no line. So, but that's because they opened up. When I got there, they opened up around like 12 and it was going on like 12.35. But the whole entire day when I kept walking past it, they, um, they didn't have it. So, they didn't have a lot of people in there. So, I don't know if they had a lot of people. Because you guys know, the malls close early on Sunday. They close at 6. So, I don't know if they were getting ready to close at, like, um, a lot of people was going to be there trying to rush to get boba tea. Not only did they have Starbucks downstairs, too. But I got Starbucks at the very end. But I'm just saying. Um, and their line was long just to get the, the mobile pickup. Now, thank God people gave me... um. Uh, Starbucks uh, gift cards so I can get my points. Yeah, and then I have a awards thing for the um, H&M now. So, yeah. Because H&M have different clothes too. So, yeah. But let me put this up real quick. But, yeah, I'm like, okay. So, yeah, it was packed. That's because people were shopping, returning things. So, yeah, now let's bring out the H&M bag. Hallelujah. But, yeah. I only got a shirt. And the shirt was like 30-something. This sweat shirt, whatever, was only like 30-something. No, actually, it was only 30, actually. That was wrong. Only it was only 30. But by they giving me a ward sting, the H&M, they said it wasn't going to take that long. And the person helped me and everything. She was, like, really good. It was ringing me up and stuff. It was really good. So it came down to 26. She was like, you still want it? I said, oh, hell yeah, I still want it. Because uh, I love Disney. I don't care how old that I am. And I'm 26. I've been watching Disney, like, forever. So, like, all the different Disney movies. Up until 
I didn't like Mulana. I didn't like most of the newer Disney stuff. I didn't like, and Coco was okay. But I like all the original Disney movies, like the '90s, um, the early 2000s. Um, and even super older ones like this. This Fantasia um, Mickey came out, movie came out in 2000. No, not 2000. I forgot. Um, 19, 1940s. So in the 40s. So I say anything in the 40s and up and up and up. I like in the um, originals. Um disney so i would say in 40s 50s 60s 70s 80s 90 and up i like so like the fox and the hound i love fox and the hound they didn't have that sure i'm just saying because i would have grabbed it i love the fox and the hound i love fantasia mickey um yeah i love any original um um disney characters basically so yeah and it says, y'all can't really see that, but it's cute. It says, ready for the weekend like Walt Disney Fantasia, the unlimited in sign and sound. So yeah, so this is like what that looks like. It's so cute. And I like how chill he looks. <laughs> Mickey Mouse looks like he got drunk or something. <laughs> so I like that. And you guys been in view ah, you guys have been viewing my videos like crazy and commenting and I can't get to all y'all, but I try my best to leave you guys hearts so you know like yes, I'm there, queen and king. I hear you. I'm sending you out hearts. Yes, I'm there. <laughs> I just had to have a break a couple days. So yeah. And then I'm gonna have two breaks tomorrow anyways. But I am gonna, like I said, gonna record for you guys. Are we recording? Or am I talking to myself? Oh, okay, we're still recording. But anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to record for you guys um, again on Thursday, which is uh, New Year's Eve, the 31st of this month, New Year's Eve. So, yeah. This video is titled Black... No, not Black Friday. This video is titled uh, After Christmas Shopping. But like I said, the sales wasn't that great. So, when after New Year's come... Then I'll go back, and if the store ain't crazy, or however it goes, I'll record for y'all so y'all can see what I bought, and then y'all can see how dirt cheap everything is after New Year's. Because usually after Christmas and New Year's combined, um, the prices are more reasonable. But I went after Christmas shopping, like I said, yesterday, and it, it wasn't all that. But, yeah. And then plus, I was having like freaking, like claustrophobic syndrome with everybody just everywhere. So yeah, and I did go to Macy's to see what kind of perfume. I didn't know Coach had um perfume, and they had this one that's called Dream. So I want that. It's not in the Coach store, but it is like the Coach brand. You know, if you, if that makes sense. But yeah, so <laughs> that's that. And now let's go over here and clean. My two different dirty coach purses. Yeah, I had to put the iTunes card in here so I could take it back to get another one. But yeah. It's gonna be loud in here in a minute, y'all. One second. It's going to be loud, so y'all might want to do this because it's going to be loud. I'm going to try to talk to y'all, though, while I do this.
can take the Clorox wipes. I mean, I need to get a little more. Take the Clorox wipes so y'all can hear me. Take the Clorox wipes and then I'm going to wipe this really good too. <laughs> needs to be taking wet wipes and clean it down but yeah i was like long overdue trying to clean this purse so i need to do that i'm about to grab this other purse real quick too but yeah but yeah guys next to chanel brand would definitely be coach first because coach is re more reasonable than chanel chanel's like a like thousands of dollars or more so yeah and I'm still trying to work on getting a sugar daddy and everything. I just haven't talked about it in like a long time. But since I got hacked twice, I got hacked in the, for the bank once and then I got hacked in the email. And then I looked online and I said, okay, that's a sugar daddy hack because everybody knows with Cash App, he does not need to send you the money for your email. He can send you the money the normal way and i'm like oh wow so but that's not as bad but as bad that that was the second sugar daddy was when he hacked my bank account but all that shit is clear and everything i got money in there all that so yeah but still oh yeah let me show y'all this purse real quick because we're talking about coach coach bags they wanted um what 595 for this purse but it's so cute that's why I said I need a sugar daddy for this. I need a sugar daddy for a lot of stuff. And I'm working on it, so. Because I'm beautiful, so I can get one if I want to. I actually can get any guy I actually really, really want. So. So, yeah. It's just with me. Dating-wise, I can't date them too young. Because guys my age, um, they play around too much. And then when they're older, I don't know. It's like they're kind of like too serious. They don't know how to loosen up and have fun. And then guys are like 23, 24, they know how to have fun. They know how to run and dine you. They be making sure that they buy the right alcohol. Like if you're out in a club with them, it could be on vacation or whatever. Um, they know how to buy Pacific cocktails and stuff that you like. They just know, they just know how to do everything better. And as that's what I said, the younger they are, they know how to do different things. They know how to have fun. And yeah, and then... If you're not interested in them as this date and you're looking for a F buddy, I'm just saying. I'm not encouraging y'all. I'm not doing it. But I'm just saying, if you are looking for F buddy and you are a female, um, I would say don't go lower no more than 18 and 19. Because first of all, if you're my age, you will go to jail. But if they're 18 and 19 and they like, I don't know, live on their own or live with their... It's best if they live on their own, to be honest with it. To be honest with y'all, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. But if they don't and they live with a roommate, it's fine because their parents, when they're 18 and 19, their parents can't tell them, hey, you can't be with a grown woman. They could be whoever they want to be with, period. So if it is in that way or not. But if you are looking for them in that intimate way, then yeah. And like I said... Guys are like 18 and 19. They do be like cute as fuck and everything. I like I said, I couldn't really like date them or nothing. But they are fun to be friends with because they know how to have fun. And if you are looking for Dr. Sivir if buddy, then yeah, they will really know how to I don't know. They really know, at least my opinion, they really know how to like please you. Like if that makes sense. Like they really know. And then someone like older or my age, they do too much trying to like please me in that way it's just too much i'm just like oh my god like just doing too much <laughs> like you make me not want you you're turning me off because you're doing too much i don't like it <laughs> so but with the young guys it's like they, they i don't know i don't know because they have more tricks i don't know but like i said if you're looking for something like that 
just to have like some type of fun thing and have a little f buddy here and there and like i said i ain't gonna lie to y'all i had plenty of buddies i had a lot of guys that were my f buddy not at the same time obviously but that we 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 did stuff and like i said when it comes down to anything sexual they are just like i said our way to go because they know how to please you so and someone older sometimes they can do too much and it's just too much and then you're turned off because it's like too much at least i know i have maybe it's different for y'all but i'm just saying <laughs> i'm not trying to be nasty or nothing i'm just giving y'all my honest opinion but anyways if y'all was just curious but yeah anyway so what are you guys doing today i'm gonna finish up <laughs> This one was actually this one was dirty but this one wasn't as dirty as my black coach purse i have this is my winter this is like my fall slash winter purse this is my spring slash you guys already know this but i'm just saying uh this is my spring slash um summer purse and of course the matching wallet but yeah but I had to clean this a little bit too because I've seen little details of crumbs. And I got to put my Mac Court sunglasses back in here. My pink ones. But yeah. So. This is this what I'm going to finish up doing. So. I have to make sure that wallet and the sunglasses are put back. And like I said, I don't care. Boys wash me and see me pads they know the girls wear pads they know the girls wear pants they're not actually in my case i use i wear i wear both but i did have my period but i don't have periods anymore because um on birth control i take like um for the whole month but then i skip the blue one so i don't have to have period and then my doctor said if i get off my birth control um i will break out again like crazy and i would have really bad cramps um because i do i get them i used to get them really bad and i would have periods again and i don't want none of them do you see how much better my skin's looking guys like literally so i'm like yeah it's okay no thank you <laughs> like i'll talk about that down the line i figure out if i want to come off it down the line or something so yeah <laughs> So that's why I was like, let me just clean this purse. These purse needs it. Let's just do it. Especially my main purse. This is just my summer bag purse. But yeah. Hold on, guys. Checking something. Oh, okay. But anyways, how are you guys today? How's y'all day going? Y'all doing anything fun and sudden besides watch me? But yeah. Oh yeah, let me show you guys this purse. Oh, here's the purse. I don't remember if I showed y'all the purse. I remember swinging it to y'all, but yeah, here's the purse. They also have this in the store too. Sorry, my phone's off to wear it, y'all. But like, here's the purse. See? I don't know what my phone's doing. Here's the purse again of crossbody. 
I don't know why my phone want to be drunk today, y'all. I don't know. It does that. My phone acts like a big diva. Here's what it looks like inside. But yeah, they have it in store and they have it online too. So yeah, that's why I said I need to get a sugar daddy for some of this. And that's why I said I ain't working. I'm going to have a sugar daddy. And then as soon as I'm going to keep going out there and keep trying. I just haven't been taking a break. I haven't been talking about it much. But I'm going to keep trying to get me a sugar daddy. Even if it is long distance and we FaceTime, blah, blah, blah. And he sent me the money, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get me a sugar daddy. I'm going to get me uh, a hanging buddy. Even if he is 18 and 19, we could still be friends. And I mean, if he wanted to be sexual, we can. I mean, like I said, girls, ladies. But yeah. And um, you could be, you could do whatever. Like I said, I do want a long-term relationship. But the person has to really prove to me that he's going to give me that long-term relationship and not play around because I don't got time for that. So, I got to keep it moving. Make my vlogs and keep it moving. So, oh yeah, this person still got a dirty dog. I got to take the wipe and wipe it down. You know what? Where's my garbage can? Oh, never mind. I have my trust can right here. Some of these swaps I had like forever. Oh, what time is that? I gotta keep up with time. Talk to me, you guys. I was only 351. Okay, good. I'm gonna put my lip balm back in. And like I said, I'm gonna take you know, I'm not even gonna lose Corox wipes. I don't know. I don't know how. Would Corox wipes damage it? Do you, would you guys know, ladies, who owns Coach Bags? Do you guys know if Corox wipes would damage it? Maybe I should use wet wipes, huh? If, uh, guys, let me know your opinion, too. Because you guys might have a secret I need to, probably need to know, too. So. Yeah. Now look, I got, I don't know why this is in here. It's gross. It's like a booty thing. I got all these fruities in here. I don't even know if these still even good. I just had sushi for lunch, so I had veggie sushi. It doesn't sound hard, so I love fruities. These are the hood fruities. <laughs> you gotta get these from the hood. <laughs> I'm just saying. A lot of people don't like fruities, but I love them. I love regular taffy too. Um, Twisty Bro taffy too, but I love fruities. I love how sweet they are. I got all this. Sorry. I got all this chain too. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, that's just what I'm doing for you right now. And then, like I said, I'm about to hop in the shower. Because it ain't going to take me long to get a new... Oh, here's the garbage. Right here, part of my face. To get a new um iTunes part, so... I'm about to put my change over here. Cause I could take that downstairs. One second, guys, cause I want to keep reaching over, y'all. I'm trying to speed it up a little bit for y'all, so. My guess I should I keep I guess I'll keep this. All this stuff that needs to go back in my purse is going off to the side real quick. We could keep these bobby pins though. I could use these. I 
I got a lot of change over here. That goes over here. That goes over there. Headache pills. I should keep that in case I might need those. Oh, wait. That's my queen. Back up hospital mass. That goes back on my purse. More change. Can go over here. Do I need this plastic bag for anything? It's up to me. Um. No, I should be okay. All right. But yeah, so yeah. And oh, uh, plus, and you know, like I said, those who are originals already know this story, but I was a um, make a wish kit twice when I was. My niece is nine, so this was before she was born, so. Um. I would say when I was like three, almost four, and I was make a wish because when I was little, when I was a baby, I had seizures, and yeah, and even though I've been seizure clean for years, that's why. And then when I got around uh, 12, 13, maybe even almost 14, um, I got to go to Disney World twelve twice, well Disney World twice, and um, Florida twice, and. I was, um, like I said, then I had to be 12, 13, whatever. And then my mom told me after our trip, she was like, oh, that's how you was able to get VIP everything still. Because you were still um, uh, make a wish baby because you, cause you know, because of the sickness. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. But it only goes up, guys. Keep in mind, for only two years. That's it. So once the years keep going by and you do want to go to Disney, you can still go to Disney. But... You're just not going to be a make wish. You have to be already like in the system and you people have to donate. You know what I mean? So, but once you reach for a certain age and I'm way past a certain age because I'm 26, almost 27. That's why. I mean, next year I'll be 27, but I'm just saying that's why too. But yeah. Yep. That is definitely why too. And I got another thing. But yeah, maybe I will use personal wipes to clean this up. I don't know, guys. I feel like I should just try to use Clorox wipes just to defect, defect it and see if I could just, like, just, you know, just take it down some, cut down the, it don't stink. It's just so kind of dirty. Even though I vacuum, I don't know if y'all can see that because this person is so black. Oh, no, y'all can't see, but I see little spots that needs to be cleaned real, real good too. So, yeah. But yeah, I wanted to really show you guys that shirt. Sure, and like I said, I miss talking to you guys. So, like I said, it's no more longer Vlogmas. It's just we're back to our normal day, which is Monday. And it's um after Christmas shopping. So, yeah. And excuse me one second. But, yeah. And I don't know how I managed to leave my Victoria's Secret free mask in my mom's car i don't know i guess because i'm carrying a lot of bags or something i have no idea but yeah so let me see if i can get the clorox wipes i'm gonna be right back i'm not gonna take long you know what guys i'm gonna wrap this back up real quick like that this sharp hand vacuum Okay, Shandy can go there, because I can nibble off of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, hold on.
But yeah, I'm back. And however, I did get some Christmas money too. This year too. And I just went to get her with my employee money. And yeah. From, you know, being a retired teacher. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just taking a quart white and I'm just wiping it down some. It's, surprisingly, it's working, guys. Believe it or not. Now, my um, summer, spring slash summer bag, the Sleeping Beauty one bag, um, this is my winter one. It wasn't that dirty. It was just had little crumbs in it. It was actually, um, wasn't that dirty as this one, but this one was dirty. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm using the Clorox wipe. But, yeah, so, and like I said, I'm about to hop in the shower, too, and put everything back in this purse. And at least I don't have to worry about it being so dirty. That's all. And by this being black, it's not really as harmful. This is why I don't put a lot of food in this purse for that reason. But thank God that this is black. So black is more easy to take. Well, I'm doing good with my other purse too. But black is definitely more durable to wipe down. Like I said, that other purse was fine. It wasn't as dirty. I just took the short vacuum thing and just went in it because it wasn't it was just a little crummy so that's all just a little crummy so even though it's just me using this purse i still gotta take care of my stuff so but yeah But yep, yep, this back. One second, guys. And you guys would think that black purses wouldn't get dirty easily, but they do. They certainly definitely do. Because like I said, I've seen all kinds of spots in this purse. And it looks much better than it was, so. Sorry, guys. You're going to hear that annoying noise from outside. A car or truck just went by, I think. Uh -uh. portable charger and 18 right 19 year olds don't be just trying to watch me because I said what I said from the um, slightly beginning of this video <laughs> all right yeah anyways I should leave these out because I really don't get heads like that no more these um ibuprofen of course my taser gotta go back and everything oh my purse smells pretty good though and there we go this is what my purse looks like it's less junky than it was before i'm gonna tell you you guys that now it was more junky before but that's because and it was dirty looking but i took care of that so And this is ready to go. And I'm going to have to put a mask in here in a little bit. But I'm going to go hop in the shower. But anyways, guys, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on New Year's Eve when the ball drops. Don't forget to watch the ball drop with me. Come on. You know you want to. Anyways, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. I need to hop in the shower because I stink. But yeah, bye.